just because I'm a landlord, just because I'm a, I'm a, just because, just because I'm making money, you guys hate me now, just because I'm making money being a landlord. I don't under, I don't know what you guys want from me anymore. Sorry. Sorry that I thought it would be fun if I demolished the pizza shop from Do the Right Thing. Sorry, I thought that would be fun. If I demolished the pizza shop from Do the Right Thing and I turned it into uh, one of those apartment buildings that has a video camera doorbell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I thought, oh, maybe the residents of bed would like my new, my new hip building that uh, it's, got a, it's got a video camera doorbell and it's made to look like so on the outside it looks like uh it looks like one of those like like those square buildings like the really shitty like modern fucking ones but then on the inside covered in graffiti on the stairwells so on the inside it looks like old new york but on the outside it looks like new new york i'm sorry that i thought that this would be fun for all the bedsty residents Yes, exactly, Hurlcat. You're all mad at me, because I'm a landlord. I'm a landlord in a building that knocked down a historical site. Grow up. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> You're all mad at me over nothing. I'm just a famous landlord. <laughs> Look, my tenants love me, okay? My tenants say that I'm like a... I'm like a third or fourth father to them. That's right, third or fourth father. I'm housing children of divorce. I'm housing adults whose parents got divorced when they were 36. It's a... A, a, a group of society that is looked down upon, you know? Adult children of divorce are a very small but very uh, disenfranchised group in America today. I mean, you don't know, you don't know how hard it is realizing that you're going to have two Christmases at age 36 when your whole life You've only had one Christmas. You're gonna have, you're gonna have to have, go to Christmas at mom, then dad's house, not mom and dad's house. It takes a toll. It takes a toll on the 36 year old brain. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Hurlcat. They don't know what to do. They're so emotional that they they go into that. And I, in my, what? And in my in my apartment building, that was is the de the location of the demolished pizza shop from Do the Right Thing, that looks like new New York on the outside and old New York on the inside. We house so many thirty six year old children of divorce, and I I watch I you get free internet, but the catch is I keep track of your search history, and I make sure that as a thirty six year old child of divorce. You're not watching any stepmom porn. <laughs> You're, uh-uh, because that—that's something you gotta. I and we have a and we we're also a therapist's office it's downstairs. <laughs> the, the Lisa Ann ban. <laughs> oh, that's really good. I'm a landlord. You're allowed to steal things from your tenants. As a landlord. <laughs> and look, don't even get me started on all these 36-year-old children of divorce looking up real estate porn, too. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not in my not in my demolished pizza shop, uh, new New York, old New York apartment building that I'm landlord of. Not in mine. No way. No way, Jose. You can't make rent. You can't make a living in my apartment building i'm sorry i don't i mean i'm i'm kicking out a lot of 36 year old children of divorce
nowadays. Look, I care about them until they can't pay me. And then they're just a liability. Squidward sees SpongeBob's parents happily married as a 36-year-old child of divorce. And he just gets he just gets pissed off. You know? I mean, I don't blame him. It's so tough. It's so tough being a 36-year-old child of divorce. <laughs> Just like a 36-year-old man wearing like a lanyard a McDonald's with like frappy. his mom's key, the keys to his mom's house on it. It's just like, yeah, I'm just waiting for her to get home, man. I've been watching, I've been watching SpongeBob all day. Oh, <laughs> it's a Final Fantasy VII lanyard. <laughs> My 19-year-old kid finally learned how to use the toaster. Oh fuck, I'm so proud of him. Yeah, no, he's he's stepping up. Yeah, next he's gonna use the toaster oven. I mean we got an air fryer and he's too scared of that. Yeah, he's too he's too afraid of the air fryer, but I mean eventually we'll calm him down. This is my nineteen year old gamer son who gets scared who barks at the mailman. Yeah, yeah, the UPS guy. My son bit the UPS guy today. <laughs> I have to go home. I have to I have to go home. My son bit the UPS guy. <laughs> yeah, he's 36. I mean, it's tough. We're going through a divorce. <laughs> yeah, no, he bit the UPS guy at his apartment. Oh, where does he live? Oh, you know you know where they filmed to do the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he lives in the pizza shop from Do the Right Thing. Yes, it's also a bodega. No, he has five strikes from his landlord right now. <laughs> yeah, no, so he's been, um, yeah, he comes to my house during my while I'm on lunch break. Um, I don't know why, but he's very sweaty when I come back, and um, he's asking me if we're ever going to sell the house. <laughs> Yeah, he, I don't know, he's really interested in real estate right now. I think he might be getting a real estate license. When I when I go home, the Roku TV, um, the Google search, it says real estate. It says Lisa Ann real estate. <laughs> and um, I still haven't been able to find her website. But if we ever sell the house, um, I, can, I think I can trust her. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Hey, can I get the rest of the day off? Yeah, no, my s <laughs> my son bit his Postmates driver. <laughs> my, yeah, no, I have to. No, I have to. I have to. I have to do that. I have to go home. My son bit the Postmates driver. You know, it's weird. I mean. He should have known he was coming on his in his apartment. They have a video doorbell. Yes, he lives in Bedstein. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does live in the location of Do the Right Thing, the filming location, the pizza shop. Yes, that one, the one that is also a bodega and a therapist's office. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh no, Spike Lee's parents just got divorced. <laughs> I know the perfect place for him to move into. My 432 month old. <laughs> yeah, he bit the UPS guy. My 432 month old bit the UPS guy. He's a rescue, so. 